The laptop I'm looking to repair today is Asus Gaming Laptop, model number G750JW-DB71-CA. The laptop is just over a year old, uh, one year and one month. Um, I was doing work one afternoon, it was working fine. I came back in the evening and this is what I encountered. The first thing I'd like to determine is whether or not there's a problem with the motherboard and the graphics card or whether there's a problem with the LED or the video cable. So um, I'm going to plug the laptop into an external monitor, uh, one with a 4x3 footprint. Um, you can use a VGA, the VGA port. Um, my laptop happens to have a Thunderbird port so I'll be connecting the, the HD input into a Thunderbird adapter, Thunderbolt adapter. And uh, plugging it into the side of the laptop. We can see the 4x3 footprint showing up on the laptop. If we take a look at the external monitor, everything is fine there. So the problem is not with the motherboard or with the graphics card. The tools I'll be using are in this box. The main tool I'm going to be using is a, a Phillips screwdriver with a size 0 and a size 1 bit in it. Uh, I've got a couple of old pill jars in order to uh, collect the different screws and keep them separate. And I need something with a flat edge. Uh, I'm using this screwdriver to help um, pry off the, the bezel off the front of the laptop, but um, any sort of flat edge should work. I previously removed the bezel in order to um, take off the screen and to get the uh, part number um, for both the, the screen and for the video cable. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to bother putting this back on but I will tell you what I did to get this thing off. There's a screw in each of the four corners of the bezel. Um, those screws are behind this uh, little rubber triangle. Now what I've done, what I did was uh, just pry that out with my flat screwdriver and I've just stuck it right here on the bezel to have it handy for when I have to put the laptop back together. After removing the four screws with my number one Phillips, I put them in the first of my medicine bottles. The next part was a bit tricky because the bezel is on there pretty snugly. Uh, but what I did is I took my flat screwdriver and worked my way first to, around the top, prying it off from each corner, and worked my way down the bottom, down on this side, and then just pulled it off. Now, if you can see here, there are a series of tabs, look like they're spaced about every two inches, um, in which I had to push down with the screwdriver. Um, that actually was probably the, the uh, trickiest part of the, this whole um, screen removal. Now I'm going to have to uh, pull out the battery and uh, dis discharge the laptop before I do anything further. But what I would like to point out before I turn off the screen is that um, there are two different sizes of screws on here that have to be pulled out. There are 14 of one size here, 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 two here, two here, two here, two here. I need the uh, number one Phillips and there are one, two, three, four, five, six of a smaller size that need the number six Phillips. 
and for that I've kept aside two different uh, pill bottles uh, in which I'll be storing the, the two different size screws. Okay, I'm going to turn off the laptop now. And I'm going to pull out its battery. I'll open it back up again. And I'll hold down the power button for a count of 20 seconds or thereabouts to discharge uh, any stored energy. Okay, let's start by pulling off the six screws at the top with the number one Phillips screwdriver. There's one, two in this corner, And the last two here in the top right corner. Now those screws are holding down a metal bar that helps secure the screen. And I'll just set that down to the side for later. I'm now going to pull out the eight screws of the same size down at the bottom of the screen. There are four in each corner and again I'm using the number one Phillips to do that. Four, that's the left corner. Right corner. Okay, so I've got all 14 of the larger screws done. Alright, I'm going to have to switch bits now from the number one to the number zero. There are six screws left to remove, smaller ones and I will put them in their own pill jar. Start over on the side. These are very small screws, so you've got to be careful not to lose them. Alright, that's all the screws. I'm going to seal this up right away, make, make sure they're secure. And I'll pull this other plate from the bottom out. I have to tilt the screen up to get it and set that one to the side. All right, let's just pull the screen out now. Pull it forward and I'm going to lay it down flat here. Alright, I'm going to pull a camera from the tripod for a moment and show you where the part numbers come from. The uh, part number for the screen itself is right down here. And for the cable, it's over here. Now at this point I don't know whether it's the LED or the cable that's faulty. I have also ordered a cable online through eBay. It hasn't arrived yet. But I did receive the, um, the LED yesterday and I'm hoping that that will fix my problem. So I will do a swap right now. The cable is taped down in place here, so I'm going to have to lift this very gently there. It's taped down at this point, and 
from the back here as well. Okay, once that's up, oops. This just pulls out. It's disconnected. Now I'm going to check to see whether the new screen works before. There is actually um, some more bars here that are screwed onto this screen. I will not take them off and screw them onto the new screen until I can verify that the uh, new screen, that the screen is the issue and not this cable. Right here's the a new screen. It has a protective cover. I'm not going to remove this yet uh, until I verify that the screen uh, is working. So I'm going to connect this screen up. Alright, I'm going to slide this in ever so gently back in place we'll tape it down and I will put the battery back in and uh, we'll see if this works. Okay, rather than uh, put on the battery, because it's kind of awkward, I don't have the screen secured, and I don't want to flip over the laptop, I'm just going to uh, run the AC cord to it instead, and we'll try it that way. And I'll turn it on, and now for the moment of truth, fingers crossed. Okay, let's see. There we go. I haven't seen this for a couple of weeks. Alright, I got the screen lying flat again. I'm going to take the old one and lay it on top. I have to remove this supporting bracket from this side. There's another one on the other side. And it's held in place with uh, three small screws. Uh, looks like it'll use the Phillips uh, Zero again. So I'm going to remove this and immediately put it onto this screen. Okay, so there's one. Three small screws removed. I'm going to pull this bracket off and I will remove the tape that's holding that protective plastic on here and immediately put the bracket up on here and screw it back in place. Alright, I've rotated the laptop to the other side. We'll, and we'll repeat. First, remove the protective cover and tape. Take off the bracket from the old screen. this anymore and we'll put the bracket on the new screen
Now before I fasten everything back down again, I want to make sure that the cable, the video cable is properly seated in the um, LED screen. I've been moving around a bit to put on those side brackets. So before I tighten it down, let's just check, verify. So I'm gonna plug it back in again, turn it on, see if we get a display. And there it is. Okay. So I can fasten this down. Should just be able to snap that off. And all around the sides. And we'll screw that down and it's just finished.